Hello guys, Noble Times here, welcome to a new video and today we have the unboxing of the brand new second generation AirPods Pro. Okay, so they're finally here, they were just released today, we have them here already and these AirPods Pro actually were announced on stage alongside the new iPhone 14s um, and they're actually the first AirPods Pro to be announced on stage because the other ones were announced by a press release. So that's interesting, I think. And yeah, they have a bunch of new features, to be fair, like to be a very similar design, if not the exact same. They have many new features like better sound, better noise cancellation, better transparency mode. So basically it's better in every single way. And yeah, so we have them here, it's the second generation. They of course have the wireless charging case and also it's MagSafe case. So if you have any MagSafe accessories, you can use that. But yeah, so I'll show you in detail all the features uh, after we unbox them. But of course, first we need to unbox it. So here is the Here we are and here are the AirPods. So first we have this here. Of course, this is a quick usage guide, which actually should probably check out. Well, this is how to pair them and it has everything that's in the case and everything. Also, this case is now possible to charge it with the AirPods Pro. I mean, with the Apple Watch charger. But yeah, so this is the case. Let me take off the wrapping plastic. So it's supposed to be the same, but I would say it's more round than the other one. Let me take the AirPods. Okay, so here's the AirPods. AirPods case, so you can really tell which one is which because this one is basically grey and this one is totally white but just yeah, super nice, but yeah, actually they're the same I thought they were different Oh, they have strong magnets, that's the MagSafe magnets right there I don't know if you can tell, but there's some kind of force but of course, the first thing we'll do is pair them with our iPhone so to do that, I record my screen and then We'll open the case again, it's super simple, you just open the case near your iPhone and here it is. We have them connect, connecting, ah, that's a new noise. And if you heard that, actually that's coming from the AirPods case that now has a speaker, I'll show you that. I don't really like the announce calls and notifications to be honest because it interrupts my music. Uh, no, well, calls okay, notifications no. Continue and that's it, here they are. So we have them connected, I'll wear them first, well actually first let's see what else is in the box because there's also a surprise here, so many things are new. So first of all I lined into USB-C cable, uh, no surprise here but actually helpful because I need one. And here are the extra ear tips that now feature four different types. So on it are the medium and we have extra small, small and large. And yeah, It's so nice to see it, so white and pristine and perfect. Like, yeah, my AirPods Pro, especially lately, I've taken them a lot on my jeans and everything, so, yeah, they're not as white anymore. <laughs> but, yeah, so, first features, of course, are the speakers at the bottom are also for Find My, and the case itself now acts basically as an AirTag, so you can track it with your iPhone. Um, then we have this lanyard hook here, so you can hook a lanyard and maybe hang it from your uh, wrist or whatever. I won't do that because I think they're small enough to always keep in the pocket and I think it will be more inconvenient for my personal use uh, to have them with the lanyard and just have them like this in the pocket. But yeah, so I'll actually put them on. Well, actually, let's compare them. So actually, yeah, my AirPods Pro will be a bit disgusting, which they of course are, but yeah, so I'll take one of each. This is the right one, for example, and you can see how it's so much more different. So here we have, the back is basically the same, but then the front is totally changed. The infrared sensor that determines whether you have the on or not is at the top rather than at the bottom, or actually, oh no, wait, this is a speaker. Oh, so this is no longer a speaker as it was here. This is now the infrared sensor, I think, and this is the speaker, and so is this, of course. Okay, so I'm here next to my open window. I don't know if you can hear the noise, but it's pretty loud. So it's a very good environment to test out the AirPods noise cancellation and compare them with the old one. So these are the old ones, and I'll put them on. 
and yeah they cancel but I can still hear their car let me check these ones before the car is gone yeah I can still hear the cars oh actually no mm, less yeah hmm actually they do cancel more yeah I think they do cancel more not a whole lot though it would be amazing if it could totally block this noise <laughs> for my sanity <laughs> but they don't but it's good like this is without playing any music as soon as I play music it's not even loud I can hear absolutely nothing of what's going on in the street but another thing that we have is the adaptive transparency mode so it will detect loud noises and actually this is my first time trying out the transparency mode but yeah, it will re uh, detect loud noises and just don't play them so yeah still not perfect I would say but yeah also it doesn't block like cars going through so they put the example in the keynote of a construction I don't have any constructions now here but yeah actually this afternoon I'm going to the Apple store to pick up the new Apple Watch Ultra and I'll wear this and I'll be able to test them better there also a review is coming in the in a couple weeks so definitely subscribe to see it okay I can't be bothered to move the camera around <laughs> honestly so I, I'll just do the rest of the review here if that's okay but yeah besides the gestures that we always had like play pause and skip go back etc a hole to change between transparency and actually I think the transparency is better when you're playing music because with the old ones I struggled with the transparency so like I had to when I was playing music I had to turn it off anyway because I wouldn't hear anything this one I feel it's louder which that's super nice but yeah besides that we also have this new feature that if you do like this so this is a touch panel now and you can raise and lower your volume so that's very nice and you also get a small uh, noise in your ear letting you know that you actually did something so that's very nice and it works both just with the finger like that or if you have both fingers so that's good because it's more convenient for more people okay so before I move the camera elsewhere and go show you something else I have to say that the the battery also improved in this generation so the airpods themselves are now up to six hours which is up from 4.5 hours which is actually good and the case is now up to 30 hours which is up from 24 so that's very significant because in many situations for the difference between 4.5 and 6 hours can mean getting enough time for a whole flight or not okay so another feature actually has to do with the charging of the case so as you see here I have the MagSafe Duo which have of course a MagSafe bag and an Apple Watch one and since a new generation that they did of the AirPods case, the AirPods Pro case you can now charge them on MagSafe of course if I turn it on so yeah you will see that it's charging on this side but now also it supports Apple Watch uh, bag charger oh and it actually also has the magnet I didn't expect that where is it though? so it wants to move up but yeah it should be charging so that's nice that's that's very neat as well so now the MagSafe Duo can only not not only be interesting for Apple Watch owners but also for AirPods Pro 2 owners but yeah other than that this is gonna be the unboxing and first impressions of the brand new AirPods Pro 2 I think the new features are pretty handy so basically if you have if you don't have AirPods Pro and you're considering buying AirPods Pro just get this um, I would say kind of depends on the discount that the others have but I would say if it's less than so this retail for $279 and pounds I believe as well or $250 not sure so if you don't see less than a 70 to 100 euro difference I would say it's more worth it to stick with this because these ones also have the new chip so they can have new features coming later on whereas the other ones can get outdated first they also have all the lanyard features the the case finding features which are okay but I personally don't think well sometimes I did but I, I don't usually use the case so they're not that important for me but yeah and also the sound is much better if I manage to open them um, better battery life better sound better features better transparency better cancellation the cancellation is better and the transparency actually I noticed that it's better as well so the it's more natural so you put them on 
and you hear exactly how you heard without them. So I've only seen that with the AirPods Max, that is super, super, super close. And these are definitely better in that aspect than the original AirPods. But yeah, this is gonna be everything for this video. We already did it. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, please thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all about the AirPods Pro 2, please let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you like Apple in general, you should consider subscribing because I'm having, I have the Apple, uh, Apple Watch Series 8 review that's somewhere here. More videos are coming about the Apple Watch Series 8. I have the Apple Watch Ultra that I'm going to pick up in a couple hours actually and I have to eat still. But yeah, have the Apple Watch Ultra that I'm picking up. We'll have a bunch of videos about the Apple Watch Ultra and in general, just so much Apple content for you. So yeah, if you don't want to miss any of that, definitely subscribe down below. Also, you should consider following me on Twitter and Instagram uh, just because there's where I post more things. And I also have a Telegram channel where I post when I upload new videos. So the link to all of that is down below in the description as well and you can join them. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.